Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar and this is another episode of the Bespoke Post series. I've got a large box in today, as you can see right here. And uh, this is part of the orchard kit. All right, well, here's our first part of it. Uh, we've got uh, some of the pieces out. Obviously there's more inside this box, but as you can see, this is a hard cider kit. Uh, or a kit to make hard cider, along with a, uh, a book to go along with it, which is tasting cider. Uh, so let's go ahead and get the rest of this out and then we'll finish going through it all. All right, so here we go. Went ahead and pulled everything out of the box. Uh, first thing we'll do though is obviously go over the card, which of course, again, it says orchard on the front there. It has the basic information on the back there, a little story and stuff that goes along with the, uh, with the box. And their little saying that goes on the back here, uh, it says, next stop, homemade cider. And uh, then it just has a list of the things that are, of course, in the box. So uh, anyhow, let's, uh, well, let's t touch on this and then we'll get into the products that make up the actual kit there. Uh, first off, we've got this tasting cider and uh, it is the Cider Craft Guide. Uh, now this is uh, supposed to kind of give you some ideas on uh, different ciders. I'm sure uh, some of these are talking about like the types of apples that you would use if, if you're using you know, if you're making apple based cider as well as uh, I'm sure you can make some other ones. There's of course some some uh, apples there and this is talking about single variety. Uh, we have uh, some other ones hopped ciders so uh, ones that would be in a sense more like beer I guess. Uh, and then you've got rosé ciders and uh, so on and so forth. Yeah, there we go, fruit infused. And uh, lots of different topics there. And then we've got, of course, the uh, kit itself. Uh, first off, we've got the uh, little insert here. And this is a no-nonsense guide to making your own hard cider. And uh, pretty pretty straightforward it looks like uh, there's not a whole lot in the, in the way of steps it's not like you got a 15 page book uh, here they're talking about uh, the things that you've got inside you've got a one gallon uh, this is called a carboy fermenter and then it's got the airlock which is actually uh, this piece inside here it'd be this piece here is the airlock piece I guess and then we have uh, the rubber stopper, which is, of course, right there. We've got a racking, racking cane. Let's see what that would be. I believe, yeah, the racking cane, which would be this here. Uh, let's see, the next one is transfer tubing, which, of course, would be this stuff here. Uh, food grade PVC type of stuff, I guess. Uh, then you've got, of course, a standard funnel. We have, uh, well, it has uh, yeast. So we've got a couple packets, three packets here of yeast. So hopefully that means we can make three different servings or three different, three different times. And then it has sanitizer. Oh, okay, so then we've got three different uh, things of sanitizer. So I'm sure that's to clean it all out when it's done. And then along with that, and it's not in uh, the kit specifically, but it is according to the uh, card. And we have got, uh, uh, let's see, this is exclusive spiced cider blend. And this is cinnamon, allspice, cloves, and star uh, anise. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the right way to pronounce that, but uh, basically it's an additional flavoring, kind of give it more than just the plain apple flavor. You've got some more, more of a, maybe a more mulled type of uh, flavor with the uh, cloves and allspice and cinnamon, definitely. I'm not sure what the star anise would, would really taste like, but uh, I'm sure that's part of what that's for. But, uh, yeah, there we go. For those of you who maybe into the home brewing and things like that instead of doing just the standard home brew of beer now you can do a home brew of hard cider instead if you guys want to check this out though go ahead down there in the description below we've got a link to the bespoke post site down there and uh, of course if you use that one you're gonna get uh, you're gonna get a little bit of money off of your first box uh, these boxes generally go for around fifty dollars 
and uh, I believe you're going to get $10, $20, something like that off your first box. And along with that, you're going to give me a little kickback, so it makes it easier for me to purchase some of these boxes as well, so I can bring them to you and give you some more content and show you some more things that are out there. Uh, also, there is that PayPal link down below. You can use that instead if you don't really want to get a box, but you want to support the channel. And, uh, you know, if you want to check out and see what's going on on World of Me, you can take a look at the social media links we've got down there. But, you know, while you're heading down there or on your way back up, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. As well as, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon, make sure you get notified when we got new videos coming out here on World of Me. Well guys, my name's Cougar. This is the World of Me, another episode of the Bespoke Post series. That'll do it for me today, so I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye!